grew up in Akron, Ohio, which is a small town, blue collar town. And my father had been a professional PGA golfer for a short time. And he ultimately got into the sports marketing world where he started, he became one of the first what I would call agents when he was actually representing PGA players. So we made our move from um, Ohio to Texas at that point. And then from there obviously went on to uh, college at Texas Tech and then ultimately law school. When I was in at Tech, I started thinking about the agent business. And I remember there was actually a punter there that I thought was going to potentially get drafted. And even though I wasn't a licensed agent at the time, I remember reaching out to him and talking to him. And I was already starting to think in that direction. I remember starting to talk to players, you know, starting to ask them about, you know, have you guys picked an agent? Are you guys going to pick agents? How do you do that? It was very unregulated back then. You didn't even have to be a registered agent. You just had to get a client. And it wasn't until I got out of law school and I graduated that we formed our first company. I was at a sports law seminar and I met a lawyer there who was an agent and he had about five NFL clients. I turned around, he tapped me on the shoulder and he goes, hey, I want to see if you'd be interested in being partners. I mean, I was just out of law school, and I go, um, I guess, <laughs> I didn't know any better. So we formed a company, and we just got after it. So we just crisscrossed the country and ultimately the globe, meeting with players, and we grew it, and about six, seven years later, we had, I think, maybe the fourth or fifth largest NFL agency in the country. Some of my, you know, they, uh, Donald Driver, Donald is a guy who's just a great story. He was a seventh round draft pick out of Alcorn State and then ultimately became the all-time leading receiver for the Green Bay Packers. I look back on my career and I've done this for 30 years and I've probably represented 450 to 500 players, but I probably met with 5,000 players over that length of time, which means you know, the vast majority of players you met with, you didn't sign. Success is always a few things. One, you have to have a lot of passion towards whatever you're doing. Two, you have to work really hard. You know, you just have to not even worry about rejection and, and failures and, you know, falling and stuff, because that's gonna happen. It's just the ability to go out there and throw yourself into something. My mom did not want me to be an agent. She was like, go work for a law firm, get a salary, you know, have benefit package, get insurance. I had none of those things. My second year in the agent business, I think I made $14,000, so it wasn't a glamorous, fun deal, but I, did, I didn't care. I didn't think anything of it. I was just out there. I loved what I did at the time and I was grinding at it. And it wasn't until probably, you know, four or five years later, and then all of a sudden things skyrocketed. But those first four or five years were, were really tough years, but they were some of the most fun years. So you just have to love what you do and you have to be prepared to, you know, go throw yourself into it.